old Chick-fil-A. Old Chick-fil-A. So hey, by now you heard about the story about the black man in Maryland. Uh, his name was uh, Marquise Benzago, 52-year-old black man. And he gave his order on a receipt. And instead of putting Marquise, the, 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 the worker put monkeys, which is a racial slur. And it was put on his receipt. And Marquise went into the store to address it. And they told him, beg him not to go viral and don't air him out, this and that. Said, are you going to terminate the guy who did it? White male, he was 17. They said, no, because he's under 18. They would not terminate him. And it's offensive in that regard. Uh, as someone who was once upon a time 17, and I had a situation, rest in peace to my grandmother, because she was not well. Dementia had set in. I had a job at a restaurant called Quincy's back in the day. It was in Hampton, Virginia. I can tell you verbatim. They let me go because I didn't get the message that they had called because of the circumstances. And I tried to explain it to a manager. They didn't listen. They said I was no longer employed there. So if you miss a call and you get held, how is it that you get to keep a job when you write a slur on a receipt in light of everything that has gone on? How does that work, Chick-fil-A? You know my short-term solution to uh, Mr. Uh, Marquis Benzigo, and it's to anybody else. Stop going to these places. They're not worth it. Well, first of all, they're not worth it because they don't. Where do I start? The food is inadequate. It's not healthy or good for you. They is greasy. They don't take care of their workers properly. They don't pay them a livable wage. And, you know, it's just that you always have these episodes, too. But some people will say and do what they want. Yes, the man was very hurt in his emotions and he was crushed by the receipt. But this ain't the first rodeo for these places. This happens a whole lot. And why do people subject themselves to going to these places? Because it's not that and it's not that cheap no more. That's what costs some money to get your home cooked meal. <clears throat> I say. And you don't get called out your name and disrespected. And it's a shame on Chick fil A. They won't reprimand this young man. No suspension, no termination. Just shrug it off. We sorry. Don't let this go viral. But we're not going to really do nothing about this. Sensitive training. You know. Same old same. It's a shame too. Slur is a slur. But that's what they allow. So, but, you know. Anyway, please like, subscribe, welcome, thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another share if you like. Please hit that membership because when you do, I get those videos requests back to you. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay true. Stay honest. Stay clear. Stay cool. Stay calm. You don't have to give people your business if they don't want you there. You know, just remember that. Because I boycott a whole lot of places and don't even go. You're worth more than what they can ever and how they treat you. I'm out.